Pinterest has more than 400 million users at the moment. If Pinterest is a country, it will surpass the United States and be the third largest country in the world. Crazy, right? If you're trying to use Pinterest to promote your business or your personal brand, then give yourselves an applause. Because you have made the right decision and you've landed on the right video. In this video, I will guide you through the ins and outs of setting up your Pinterest account and how you can design and publish Pinterest pins quickly and efficiently. Let's jump into the video. Hey makers, I'm Jack, the content marketer at Pickmaker. This comprehensive video consists of five parts. One, how to set up a Pinterest business account. Two, how to add the right profile picture and cover image. Three, how to claim your business account. Four, how to create viral pins. And finally, how to publish all your pins successfully. If you wish to skip to any specific part of the video, please do use the timestamps in the description below. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. Let's dive in. Setting up your Pinterest account is a breeze and I'm going to show you how to do it in just a few minutes. For the sake of this video, I'm going to create a dummy account and show you how to set it up on Pinterest. Here's what you need to do. Go to business.pinterest.com. The link for it is in the description. Upon entering, you will notice that the Pinterest business page opens up. Placed in the top right corner is your sign up button. You can click on it to create your own business account. A new window opens up where you can set up your business account with your email ID. You also need to create a password so that you can log in anytime you want. Make sure you mention your age and click on create account. Once you click on create account, a new window will appear where you will be asked to enter the name of your business. You can also adjust the actual username into something you like at a later point. If you have a website, add your website details here. Then you need to pick your country and preferred language as well. Then we click on next. Once you click on the next button, you will be asked to enter your niche, your goals and what you are trying to promote on Pinterest. So all this information will help them deliver a better experience for the user. After you have entered all this information, click on next. In the next step, you can set your preference for Pinterest stats. Pinterest probably collects this just for their own interest. You can say yes, I am interested in advertising. Or you can also say you are not sure yet, if that is something you are unclear about. Then click on next. Now that we are done with the basic setup, Pinterest will suggest you with three options which are measure your ad performance, grow your audience and showcase your brand. Since we have a lot of setting up to do, let's select showcase your brand and start building your profile. Your username is already set but you can change it here. Then you need to add a few lines about your business in the about you section. Keep the about you section brief but also try to use specific keywords that are related to your product. You can also add your address and other details below. Finally, scroll down to double check if all the entered information is correct and click on save. Adding the right profile picture for your account is super important. The recommended size for your Pinterest profile picture is 280 by 280 pixels which will be cropped and displayed as a circle. If your profile picture isn't professional, you could be missing out on attracting new followers and engagement opportunities. An awesome profile picture can help you stand apart from the crowd. I'm going to show you how to use PicMaker to create an awesome profile picture for your Pinterest account. Open a new page in your browser and go to www.pickmaker.com. If you are an existing user, log into your account. If you are a new user, click on the sign up button and register to PicMaker for free. Now we are on Pickmaker's dashboard. Pickmaker is an easy drag and drop graphic design tool that allows you to create stunning graphics in minutes. It has more than 10,000 gradients and filter effects, so you can use to create your perfect profile picture. The recommended size for a Pinterest profile picture is 218 to 280 pixels. Select a template with the mentioned dimension to get started. The next thing you need to do is upload your picture into Pickmaker. Upload one of your coolest photos in a JPG or PNG format. Select the uploaded photo and drag it onto the slide. You can crop the picture by selecting the crop option on the toolbar. You can also add cool filters to enhance your picture. Play around with all the effects until you get the right effect for your picture. If you make a mistake or add something you don't like, please don't worry. You can always use the undo button at the top. It's that easy. Removing your background will make your profile picture incredibly awesome. And you can do it without ever leaving Pickmaker. Here's how. Select the picture 
Go to FX and from the drop down list, select the background remover button. Our AI based background remover will automatically identify and remove the background from your picture. For better results, upload high quality contrast photos of yourself with good lighting. And make sure your headshot is not cut by any image boundaries. If removing backgrounds made it better, adding an outline will make your profile picture excellent. Select your picture and on the photo toolbar that appears on the top, click on FX. From the drop down toolbar, click on Stickerify. Now it opens up a new tab where you can adjust the width or thickness of the border by dragging the slider. But please note that Stickerify is a paid feature in PicMaker. In PicMaker's library, you will find tons of gradients to deck out your design. Click any gradient to use it on your design. From this sidebar, you can also select and change your backgrounds. When you are happy with the image you have created, download it and save it to your desktop or to a folder. You can download your designs in a JPG, PNG or PDF format. Then go to Pinterest and upload your created profile picture. After you've inserted all of the information, click on save. And voila, your Pinterest business account is all set. You can now take full advantage of Pinterest to promote your business. Claiming your website might sound strange, but it's essential if you want to maximize the amount of traffic you're planning to send back to your website from Pinterest. Unlike your typical social networks, you can't just enter your website URL into your profile and click save. The process is slightly technical on Pinterest. But I am here to help you achieve it quickly with the following steps. Navigate to the settings bar and click the claim button. The new window will show you the button to claim your website. All you need to do now is click on the claim button. Pinterest will generate a piece of code that is unique to you. This is called an HTML tag and will enable you to claim your website. Pinterest will read this code to trace it back to your account. Click the copy button to copy this code to your clipboard. Head to the back end of your website and paste the code, also called as a tag, into the head section of your index.html file. The exact instructions for this will vary depending on your website host, but it is actually very simple. Once you've added the code, navigate back to the Pinterest page and click continue. In the next window, add your website URL and click verify. Pinterest will read the data on your website in order to find the individualized tag and it will recognize your claim. See, that was pretty easy, right? We have successfully claimed the website for your Pinterest business account. In this section, I will help you create awesome pins with PicMaker. The great thing about PicMaker is that you don't necessarily need to create those designs from scratch. Instead, you can use tons of ready-made Pinterest design templates for free. Now that we are on PicMaker's dashboard, I'll take you through the exact steps to creating viral Pinterest pins with minimal effort. Use the search bar to find pre-built popular preset size options for all your social media graphics and choose Pinterest pin. So as you can see, there are tons of template options with different combinations of fonts, colors and backgrounds. Scroll through our endless Pinterest pin templates until you find the one that matches your vision. All these templates have been created by our excellent design team to ensure that there are a high number of clicks as well as conversions on your pins. Pick a template that you like, but don't just stop there. Customize your Pinterest pins by adding your own photos, your logo, text, fonts and brand colors. You can discover tons of images, icons and backgrounds in our asset libraries to add to your design. You can also add or edit any of the text that is on your pin. Use the search bar to find the perfect images or you can also upload your own photos to place them over your background. And if you want to make your template even more unique, use our mad button to get hundreds and thousands of design suggestions, all for free. And that's it. Now you have a beautiful branded pin. Once you're happy and satisfied with your pin, use the download button at the top right corner to download your finished pin to your device. Congratulations, you've just downloaded your awesome pin. In the next section, let's see how to publish these pins to your Pinterest account. PicMaker's Pinterest pin templates have strong design elements that will make sure that your pins stand out on Pinterest. Remember, if you don't catch their attention, you cannot get their clicks. Okay, we have set up your business account, added a professional profile picture, claimed your website and created stunning pins using PicMaker. The final step is to start uploading your pins to your Pinterest account. I am going to show you how you can upload your pins to your Pinterest account along with some best practices. On the top left corner of your Pinterest window, click Create. In the drop down menu that opens up, click on Create Pin. This will take you to a window where you can upload your pins, add your title, descriptions, as well as your destination URL. This section on the left side is the photo upload window. 
you can drag and drop your picture or you can also click to upload your picture. The title is where you should use keywords or any hashtags that will help others find your pin on Pinterest. Make sure you give a catchy headline for the pins that you're promoting here. Then write a few lines about your pin describing what it's about along with any additional information. Your description will motivate the users to click through and eventually increase the traffic to your website. The limit for the description is 500 characters with a minimum limit of 100 characters. Then add alt text. Although this step is not mandatory, adding alt text gives better discoverability for your pins. Add a short sentence to explain what your pin is all about. But please ensure that your alt text is keyword friendly. Then add a destination link. Your destination link is where the user will land when they click on your pin. If your pin is about a blog, make sure you add the destination link to the blog. If your pin is about a product, make sure you add the destination link to the product. So it's very important to make sure that you add the right link here. So now that you've added our pin, let's select a board for it. From the drop down list on the top left corner, you need to select or create a board. If this is your first pin, you'll have to create a new board. Click on create board and type in a name for it. It's better if the name of the board is relevant to the current pin. Once you've added the name, click on create. Now that you've created a board for your pin, it's time to publish it. You can publish your pin right now or you can also select a time and a date to schedule it for later. Now we have successfully created a Pinterest business account using Pickmaker and have created a board and uploaded the pins. Now you'll be able to start seeing stats once your pin is getting some interactions. And this is why you definitely need a business account for your Pinterest. Thanks for making it to the end. If this video was helpful, please do hit the like button. We create tons of videos like this to help you create stunning graphics with Pickmaker. We also have a blog where we regularly publish tips and techniques to help you with graphic design. We've dropped the link in the description. Please do check it out as well. If you're new to this channel, please click the subscribe button. You can also hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video on this channel. And what do you want us to cover in the next video? Let us know in the comments below. Now go and kill it on Pinterest. This is Jack signing off from Pickmaker's YouTube channel.